Inside the Ropes, taking you behind the scenes of tournament preparation. Our entire team actually came out. We've split it up so that we have some staff members out here during advance week, during tournament week, and even after the tournament's over to get full exposure to the U.S. Open. We're here to see the preparation that has gone into it, but more importantly, the volunteer support system that's been put together at Aaron Hills. It's the hospitality for the volunteers, uh, providing them with clothing and, and food, lodging, uh, certainly discussed agronomics with the superintendents, assistant superintendents as well, to, uh, to understand what we need to prepare for in, in a year. I've switched back and forth between the front and nine, back nine setups, so I was with Jeff Hall yesterday. Today I was with Mike Davis, and it's just um, re-familiarizing ourselves with each other. We are face-to-face -face with the USGA and certainly uh, beginning a relationship with them as, uh, as time nears, and certainly for the next year, uh, those relationships are going to build. My club's allowed me to travel to, to Oakmont and now to Aaron Hills this year to, to gain exposure. We're all in the same industry and we're all you know, shooting for the same goals, so whenever you can help a colleague along the way, it's, it's certainly beneficial to all of us. You can take a number of, of different points and then blend it into your management style at your facility and then maximize the effectiveness of what you're going to do when you execute the plan. Shinnecock is a masterpiece when it comes to golf course architecture uh, and just its layout itself. So I always say it's, it's, it's like dusting off or shining up a frame. At this point, we're working on surface conditioning and really grooming ourselves into the, through this season and into 2018 for the championship.